All right, y'all, I'm taking this video. It is March 4th. I'm getting back on my diet. I'm at least 180, I know. So I wanna show you my body now. Because baby, this belly, she's about to change. She's about to change. She's about to change. All right, let's go. What is up, party people? And hello, my friends. It's your girl, welcome to China, and welcome to my channel. And baby, today y'all, I am back and in action. I've been gone, but I'm here to talk about my weight loss journey, how I've lost over the past year up to 50 pounds, girl, give or take, but I dropped a solid 40. And I'm gonna just share everything with you guys, no holds barred, everything that I did to lose weight. It's not going to be what you thought. I didn't go to the gym during this time, child. I got my mirror right here that I was not using, but we don't get into it. Before we get started, my name is Welcome to China. I'm a conversationalist, I'm a content creator, and I'm a reactionary. So if you like any of those things, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. I'm on my way to what, to who, to how now? <gasps> 3,000 subscribers, y'all. I cannot believe it. Hit that subscribe button, let's get into it. So many of you, as you can see in the picture, I was a hefty girl, but let me get down to the nitty gritty, where my weight was, how much I weighed, all that fun stuff. I'll put some receipts there in a second. So I am 5'3". I am the same height as Kim Kardashian, give or take. Uh, Nicki Minaj is the same height as me. All these people who are surgery done. Uh, I'm just trying to give you examples of people who are my height. So I'm 5'3". Um, I am considered petite. Most of my weight always would sit in my butt area, the thighs. Uh, tummy is down now, as you guys can see. But when I start to gain weight, it starts to go to my belly. And that's why I'm like, no, no ma'am. Because I hold most of my weight down here. So when I start to get hefty at the bottom, that means I got to slim down uh, at the top because the weight's coming. So that's just me. That's my weight. That's where I was. The heaviest I was was about 185. Uh, last time I weighed in, it was 177 when I took the video March 3rd, which is about a year ago. And right now, I am currently in the 155 area. So... From the heaviest, I'd say that's probably about 35, 40 pounds. Uh, at one point I was like 185. So y'all, it's, it's been a lot. I was hefty for a, a hot minute. COVID, all that fun stuff. But today I'm gonna go over all the things that I did to lose weight. And hopefully these things will help you in your life as well. So first things first, the first thing that I did to lose weight is get my mental health together. Again, I told you this isn't going to be a traditional video. Like, I worked out and I ate this. I had to get on medication to get my anxiety together. For those who do not know, watch my anxiety video. It's on my channel. Uh, I had very bad anxiety for years that was undiagnosed, untouched, and I didn't do anything about it. So that caused me to be depressed. That caused me not to get out of bed. That caused me to overeat. That caused me to not want to do anything because I was so anxious. So if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, BPD, anything above the sun mentally, you're going to struggle losing weight and getting yourself together. Because we start here. If this is all messed up, then we're not going to be able to tell our body what to do. So I'm in therapy. I am on SSRIs for my anxiety. I'm on serotonin inhibitors. So that is what helped me, first and foremost, get my mental health together. Now, do these things help you lose weight? No. But I had a clear mind that I was able to be like, okay, let's get this body together. So mental health is number one. If your head is messed up, y'all, your body is not going to work in tandem with it. So if you're sitting here like, I need to see a therapist and I'm overweight, see the therapist, then get your weight together. Second thing, sleeping. I also suffered from very bad insomnia and I was not getting enough sleep. I have a partner who works overnights and switches to mornings and I work from home. I'm a stay at home girlfriend really right now pursuing my acting. So my sleep schedule really depended upon his and that was not healthy for me. Something that he did purchase me for Christmas was these Bose sleep buds so I can get a full eight hours of sleep to wake up in the morning to go work out. Now for me, I like to do things in the morning like super early or like super at night so during the times of the day because i work from home when the rest of the world is you know resting is like when i when i like to get my work done again i'm talking fast trying to get all this out but that being said if i had a shitty sleep schedule if i didn't do my work back when i was working if i couldn't get to the gym in time then that was just my day i know some people like to work out you know at, at night whatever but just me not getting good sleep it affected my body i was waking up much later um, I'm gonna get into the third thing that I did, intermittent fasting. Let's go ahead and get into that as well. Intermittent fasting, that's the biggest thing that I did to help me lose weight. Between after my last meal, which I was only having one a day, I'll get to that in a minute, 
look it up. Intermittent fasting means you are taking breaks and fasting in between meals. Now me, I was doing one meal a day and I'm gonna get to that in a minute, but intermittent fasting was something that I did throughout my life without even knowing. I'm a one meal a day kind of girl. So let's say this. Now I eat late, y'all. This is not perfect, but listen, losing weight is not perfect. What works, works. Hey, I may have dinner at nine o'clock one day. Okay, cool. If I'm having dinner at nine o'clock, I'm not gonna eat anything until 12 noon the following day. So no, I'm not having my breakfast wrap. I'm not having my Starbucks and doing all that. Honey, you having some water or maybe a piece of fruit and sit down and keep it pushing. I'm not eating all big hearty meals. I'm giving my body time to start to burn off that fat. Like, oh yeah, I'm hungry. Let me eat, let me eat up that fat that you already got. And that's how you start to lose the weight. So look up intermittent fasting. That was the biggest thing that I did that helped me lose weight was intermittent fasting, y'all. Let me tell you, you don't need to be eating constantly throughout the day. You have to train your body to get there, but that's what helped me the most. Fourth thing, eating once a day. Now, I was saying eating one big meal once a day. Did I have snacks? Yes. Did I have yogurt? Yeah, sure, maybe sometimes. I wasn't following keto. I am an OG keto girl. I wasn't doing Weight Watchers. I was eating what I wanted and eating it within portions. And also within those portions, I was eating once a day. So let's say this. Now, I'm a luxurious girl. Me and my man like to go out to eat. Let's say me and my man go out to eat. All right, I'm having champagne. Cool, I have some little hot wings. And then for my dinner, I'm having some chicken piccata. All right, so if I'm going to have this for lunch, hot wings and chicken and pasta, fine. It's not that healthy, but baby, that's all you're eating today. That's all I'm having. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna pick on my appetizer a little bit. I'm gonna have a little piece of chicken. And when the waitress comes, I'm gonna say, hey, can I get a box for my appetizer? And I put that away. See, now I'm getting into how we eat when we go out, all that type of stuff. Let me get this food out of the way. Appetizers, you don't even gotta eat it all. Take it home with you. Me, I am the queen of carry out. Can I take this to go? I am the queen of, oop, I only took a little bit. Don't overeat, baby. Say that meal for later, because that's your only meal. So that's really where I'm at with that. Now, otherwise, if I'm cooking dinner, or you know, if it's like, yeah, I'm waking up at 10 a.m., you know, all right, I have something to drink, some orange juice, you know, I'm chilling for the day. I'm not gonna eat my meal until seven, eight o'clock that night. Now, in between what you eat, that's up to you, but I'm not having big meals. Now, that's just me, and I know that this is hard, because I watch a lot of other people around me eat and people eat a lot more than me. Now I'm saying that, I have stomach issues, I, I, you know, sometimes I'll be feeling nauseous, like I can't always eat as much as I want to at the, any given time. So that is also something that I struggle with. But again, one meal a day, big meal, get up your calories, you know, some meal options that I would always do is big Caesar salads, big fruit salads. Um, keto makes me feel too sick now and carb cutting because of all the grease and it just, I've been on a really big like fruit kick. I've been having to get my stomach back together. I've been having stomach issues, y'all. So I had to really start to hone in on what I'm eating. And if I'm not gonna eat the healthiest, then I'm gonna have to cut back. So I cut back astronomically, astronomically with my eating. Cut back. Don't eat all that food, baby. Cut back on what you're eating. And last but not least, I started to walk everywhere. Now, when I mean walk everywhere, it's like, all right, the gas station is up the street. Can I walk there? Am I gonna drive there or take an Uber? Baby, go and walk. Listen, if you live in a safe enough neighborhood, if you can walk during the day, I live in New Hampshire, Boston area, whatever you call it, it's safe enough to walk around here. I walk to my Kona store. I walk to Rite Aid. I walk downtown. If you live near a downtown area and downtown maybe a mile and a half away, go on those walks. When I want to go get something to eat, if it's downtown, I'm going to go take the walk. If I want to go to the sub, sub shop, I'm going to go walk. When I go to my favorite bakery out here, I go walk. I walk everywhere. Not just, oh, we're going to go take the stairs. No, baby, I'm talking about you're going to really go walk. Like, let's go walk down this street. Or if you have a friend, it's like, hey, you guys want to go do this and go walk to Tropical Smoothie? Go walk. Big thing that I did without me working out, keep in mind, during this time, I was not working out. I'm telling y'all, I promise I was not working out. I can count on my fingers the many times that I worked out during this past year, but it was my eating and getting that cardio in, walking, being more active and getting my mental health together. Now, as you guys can see, I didn't, I didn't come here with y'all with anything crazy, but if you give these five things a chance, then you will definitely lose weight. They're not that traditional, but they're not bad. It's just getting myself together, getting my life together, and then my body 
came together. I'm not a big junk food eater. I'm, I'm not a big drinker um, during the week. Drinking is also something, y'all. It will help you lose weight when you stop drinking it. Liquor, huge thing, and I almost missed that as well, and then I'm gonna get out of here. Gotta cut down on the drinking. A lot of people love to drink. I'm a drinker too. You know, I like champagne, which is like the worst wine and all that it bloats you up. Cut down on the drinking. I have a lot of peers and friends who go out and drink every day, daily, they struggle with their weight. I only try and drink twice a week when I go out, um, Friday, Saturdays, or during the week for brunch. Otherwise, I don't keep liquor in the house. I'm not a big drinker, um, but that's just me. Now, if you are, you gotta look into some alternatives, that's fine, but I do know the drinking still makes you feel bad and it's just not good for your body. Now, I'm 26 now, so drinking for me, who I had to take a break and all that, but I know that a lot of people still in my age range, older, younger, we still drink. And that's a part of everyday life, I get it, but it still makes you fat and hefty. So those are all the things that I did, five, six things that I did to lose almost 50 pounds. Y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've ever done any of these things, intermittent fasting, do you walk places? How do you feel about losing weight and not really working out that much? You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's your girl, welcome to China. If you guys want me to talk about anything else, fitness wise, health wise, workout wise, mental health wise, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 3,000 subscribers. See you later. Bye bye.